Hey everyone, my name is Rachel and I'm the creative manager here at Finice. I wanted to take today as an opportunity to walk you through the Finice brand folder account. Uh, specifically, I wanted this to be a tutorial as to how to navigate the Finice brand folder and search, download, and share assets. So, uh, for those of you that might be new to this, you're probably wondering what is brand folder? Brand folder is a visual platform for managing and sharing brand assets. Um, our brand folder account is public and visible to everyone. However, we really specifically made it for Venice employees, um, local, remote, and international, dealers and distributors, sponsorships and events, business partners, and PR inquiries. So first steps first, how do you navigate to the Finice brand folder account? Uh, well, there's four different ways you can do it. First would be in your browser window to type in brandfolder.com forward slash Finice Swim. And here we have it. We are back to the page we started at. Option two would be in the top header of the finiceinc.com website. There's this little icon. Click on that and this nice pop-up window comes up, which is very similar to what we were seeing on this tab. However, the biggest difference being that this is actually embedded into the finiceinc.com website. Um, you can see that right here based on the URL. Option three would be to scroll to the bottom of finiceinc.com and select the brand folder link right here. And this is exactly the same as what you're seeing here, but the biggest difference being that it is now taking you out of finisync.com and into this new URL. Step four, which might be the most obvious, would be typing finisync brand folder into your Google browser window. And here you have it. We pop up at the very top and we are back to the same page. Awesome. So now that we've navigated our way into the brand folder, let's do a quick overview of what all is available. So at the top, a nice welcome image, the Finice Inc. name, tagline, a few social links to our various platforms that we're available on. This area is considered to be your quick links. Um, in addition to your search bar, we will come back to this area in a moment, but just keep it in the back of your mind for now. And here, we've divided our assets into folders. Um, the first folder being logos. So here you have the Finice logo with the tagline, both in white and black, and the So More Can Swim logo. The next folder is product media kits, which I consider to be our most frequently viewed or accessed um, area of our brand folder account. This is a complete visual library of all of the Finis products we currently offer. And as you can see, the products are grouped into categories. So snorkels and pad paddles, training fins, mono fins, et cetera. Um, within each product, so we consider these a tile, if you were to click on that, a variety of assets are available for you to download. Uh, studio images, usage images, uh, text sheets, size charts, inventory detail sheets, a manual and quick start guide if available, images of product and packaging, which it appears that this product doesn't have that available at the moment, um, or occasionally marketing collateral, which could be email messaging, social media content, comparison charts, which it appears this product does have that, um, web banners, etc. Again, we will come back to this area, but just to give you an idea. As you can see too, this area has a lot of content available in it. So you have a little bit of the long scroll effect. Next folder is collateral, which is a new area that we've added. This is most actually really from late 2015 to current, the graphic work that the creative team has put together and it includes anything from catalogs to print ads, bifolds, brochures, flyers, um, apparel or retail pieces, or um, trade show and event. So some wind flags down here, banners, shirts. What's cool about this 
is we are getting a lot of requests. What's the most recent ad we're running? Where is it available? If you click on this asset, not only are you available to download the PDF, but you can also see that this particular asset was used in Swimmer Magazine, USMS, and H2O Open Magazine. It is a print ad featuring the duo. And it appears that we've named it Unbeatable, uh, which you can see in the title, and it was for the February, March, 2016. Next, we have videos. Big thanks to in-house videographer, Becca Wyant. She's been uh, pioneering this effort of getting all these videos produced and uploading them to Brand Folder. This section includes anything from product uh, education videos to more featured films such as the Onyx Bake Your Move, or even short films or bloopers in this case, uh, which have been added. This next folder, Athletes, is something I consider to be in growth. Uh, we hope this to be a complete collection of images of our elite sponsored athletes. Within each section, we will be offering not only nice headshots, but in action shots of our athletes from most recent shoots that we've done with them. And again, all these assets are available for download. Next is fonts. These are considered to be our core company typefaces. Uh, first is DIN Pro. Uh, we use it in everything. Uh, it includes both the condensed and the regular family. Quicksand, which is a new addition to the Finesse uh, typeface family, but you'll most frequently see our tagline, Simplify Swimming Styled in Quicksand, in addition to any uh, pool and spa or kids related collateral. Helvetica is the font we use for web. So if you're using campaign monitor, you'll frequently see the body type styled in this. And garden is another new addition, which was implemented for um, really international um, translation pieces when it comes to designing. So quicksand's great, however, it's not available in Cyrillic. So garden is the closest match we can find that offers that Cyrillic capability. Next is colors. So these are the five colors that we consider to be a part of the Finis color palette. As you can see, if you hover over, um, we've enabled it to show the hex, RGB, CMYK, and Pantone value. So it's really easy if you need to share really what color uh, Finis yellow uh, we should be using. And that's for web, print, um, apparel, really anything. Next is documents, um, and this is always going to be more general um, pieces that can apply to everyone. My favorite piece in here would be the Finis brand guidelines. This covers not only everything I'm going through now as far as typefaces and color palettes, but also tells you what is and is not okay um, when it comes to branding and visual identity for Finis. And last but not least is just a quick information section what we do, who we are, um, a little bit about our history and a message from John, and our contact information. So now that we've navigated through everything and you have a general idea of where things are, uh, let's actually get into the different features. So first is the search. For this particular example, I'm going to use the foil monofin. So say I wanted to find the foil. Again, I have a couple options on how I want to do this. So I can either type in foil into the search bar and there my product will populate. And just like I walked through with the agility, you can see the studio image, usage images, size chart, uh, inventory detail sheet, tech sheet, looks like a comparison chart. Um, if you didn't want to use that method, we've also implemented a tagging system, which is used in the website. So for quick reference, notice when you visit finisync.com, if you hover over shop and within the category technical, you can find monofins. And if I were to click on monofins, it will populate all products that we consider to be monofins. Now let's go back to this. If I were to do hashtag technical. It is now pulling in all products. Oops. Here we go. 
Um, it is now pulling in all products that we have personally tagged as hashtag technical. So now that you've seen the monofins, if I were to click technical, truly this is a mirror of what you would see in this browse area. The biggest difference being that this is now in brand folder and these assets are available for you to actually download. More specifically, if we were trying to find that foil, you could type in hashtag monofins or monofin. And these are now all the products that are tagged hashtag monofin. So going in here, you can even see at the bottom that those hashtags that I just typed into the search bar, what has been truly added for this particular product. Last but not least, in terms of how you can navigate to this, you can also use this quick links area, which I find very helpful. Um, by clicking, where'd you go? There we are, monofins. This will populate the same exact search as if you were to do hashtag monofins here. To get out of it, just click on monofins, and now it takes you back to a view all. Okay, so next, how do we download assets? So let's go back to our foil asset that we had pulled up. Click into the main area. And let's say I wanted to download this image, this usage image. If you go over here and select download JPEG, it immediately starts the download process within your browser window. And I actually downloaded this before we started. But here you have that image that downloads directly to your desktop. Another cool function that's recently become available is in more options where the ellipses is, you can specify whether or not you'd like to download a JPEG or a PNG. And you can also um, customize the size or the dimension. So as you can see by clicking small, it's changing the width and the height. Um, you can also enter in a custom field so quite frequently for email campaigns, 650 pixel width is quite frequent. So I can type in 650, download, and that now starts a new download. And as you can see, if I hover over it, it says the item number, image, usage, um, the number, and then 650 underscore 4433, which is the dimensions that you've downloaded. Let's say you're running a promotion on monofins and you need really all of them uh, as far as assets goes. You have the ability to go in here and check which assets you would like to download. So let's say it's all these adult monofins. Click download. And now it is creating a compressed zip file that will include all of these assets into one download. It's gonna take a little bit, so I'm not gonna open that up, but all you'd have to do is open um, or show in Finder and you would then see all these assets visible. Let's check all of these. Next step would be sharing. So similar to, again, you have a couple ways. So you can either click share asset which will pop up this window. You can copy to clipboard, which is the same thing as if you were to just do a copy, but click that. And by pasting it either into a new browser window or even an email, it will use brand folder, but it will direct you to this asset rather than to the homepage where you're seeing everything all at once. You also have the option when you're in here to share multiple assets. So back to that, you're running a monofin promotion and these adult monofins and you really want to share all of them. So in this bottom right corner um, versus clicking download, you can click share, copy to clipboard. And again, with that link, you're now viewing only the assets that you really want to see or that you want to share with someone. Um, I personally think this is a great tool to use in email. Um, it's quick and easy and just say, hey, these are the assets we're currently pushing. Go ahead and check them 
for yourself or for someone else and shoot that in an email and it's really easy to find what you're looking for. All right, back to this. Um, let's go ahead and click out of this. The last thing that I did want to draw attention to, oops, was in the quick links area. Oh man, I'm clicking. In the quick links area. Let's remove this from the search bar. So now that we've walked through the folders, these will make a little bit more sense. These are the folders that are really hosting or grouping all these assets together. Let's say you came to the brand folder in hopes of finding just videos. That's all you were looking for. By clicking videos, it immediately directs you to that folder, but it also only shows these assets versus all assets at once. Well, that covers today's walkthrough on the Finis brand folder account. Thank you for tuning in and listening. I hope you found this helpful. Until next time.